Hey guys, I'm heading up to the skate park again now. It's Saturday and it's quite dreary outside. It looks very, very misty. Uh, if you don't believe me, I'll just show you quickly. See, it's foggy outside, a little bit damp. I'm going up there now and spending a couple of hours. It's gonna be fun. And yeah, they opened a couple of hours ago, but Paul had to go out and do a little bit of shopping. So I didn't have the car, so I could go. So now it's about 2.30. Close to three o'clock, but they close at six, so I get three hours. That's fine. So I'm excited to see how all the kids like what the, we build, the new roll in. And I don't know how far Martin and those has come, if they built any further on the box. I don't think so, because they would do it after hours. Um, I know that Laz and those plan to stay open after, <clears throat> just for uh, the friends of uh, us uh, to rebuild or finish that building. But <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to be up there tonight, because I'm really tired from yesterday. I can feel my. My wrist is playing up with me again um, because I've been lifting a lot and also my knees um, from lifting heavy stuff so yeah maybe my doctor should see me today instead of yesterday where I felt better <laughs> um, yeah but I'll see you in the skate park can you get the idea now this is kind of like what we're building and it's gonna be an enclosed box it's gonna be a top on there and we're going to have a grind rail for both sides. Flat iron on the one side and round on the other side. It's going to be so effing epic. epic. I think it's going to be done tonight. Yay! Moodle! 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 It's got a lot of feelers! <laughs> Parental guidance. <laughs> but it looks sweet. Uh, unfortunately, I have to go home and eat now, but I'll probably come up here after. Uh, it's a bit annoying. Yeah. Are you happy for the new rail? A fun little fact guys, yesterday when Matthias finally welded that together, Martin came and asked, have you made sure the holes are on top? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't. Alright, speak to you a bit later. Hey guys, just been out shooting a little bit with my BB gun, but it's getting quite dark outside, so not very easy to see anything. I had an old beer can I was shooting at down in the garden, it was a lot of fun, uh, until I couldn't see it anymore. <laughs> Um, but I need to make a new pellet, uh, or pill, pellet, pill, because uh, uh, Nikki, a guy in the, or a kid in the skate park, um, really liked the one I had, so he asked, can you make one for me? I said, yeah, I sure can, so he, he's going to pay for it, of course, but he wants to get one, so I'm going to make a new one, um, still got a little bit left so I can make more, and I need to go in and find the winners of the giveaway, which is going to be exciting, really looking forward to that. I got this from my dad, um, he had it but never really used it because he didn't have a charger for it but then he bought a second hand charger and I got the drill and it works fine so now I have um, my own screw gun which is great um, really, really pleased with it, thank you dad and uh, I'm gonna put another fingerboard in the mold because um, I, I, w I would admit it, at the moment I am not really feeling making fingerboards uh, so, but I have to get started with it. But let me show you the vice thing. This one here. Ah, so heavy. If I can make for myself some molds where they all exactly the same height, if I can do that, I can use this here um, and pop that mold inside there and just tighten these things together. And that will work as a nice clamp. Um, I'm going to test it out doing a fingerboard now, just one fingerboard. Uh, what well, you just take these and screw them down and tighten and it should be a very good squeeze instead of having to use that if I let's say I had a couple of moles here which I got my three moles here my, um, the plan is that I could then make them all so they're the same height like this they're not the same height at all you can see how much different there is but if they if they were the same height I would be able to take put one there and I could put one there and I could put one there and uh, if they all were same height I could just tighten this down and um, they will all be squeezed together so I could have several decks in a mold like so and you could just tighten these with um, a spanner so that would be a very cool idea definitely um, but right now where they don't fit the same size I can just take one mold let me just unscrew this a bit and I can put it in like this. Um, originally maybe if, you, if I do it properly I could actually fit two moulds in there uh, sideways like that. 
to squeeze um, and I don't know how many I could do the other way let me try and test let's say that's this one's not fair because that's much much wider in the bottom so let's say one mold there and second mold there pull this out third mold there fifth mold there sorry fourth one, two, three, four. It's quite a mold night. There. So yeah, I, I would be able to fit um, four moulds in here if I make them all the same height. And I can just use a spanner to tighten that down. So that's going to be my future project in getting moulds the same heights um, to fit four in, which is great. So this is a great, great thing, but it's really, really heavy. Um, it's made out of some special iron my mate mentioned to me. So that won't go anywhere. That's really cool. I got to borrow that, I need to text him because I didn't know if he wanted me to have it or just borrow it, but um, that is really really cool. Um, so I'm going to put a deck in that tonight and test it out. Sweet! So I did it. There's one deck in the mold here. This is um, all nice. I can't really squeeze it harder so that's going to be nice and pressed. And I use this one as well. This is here and it looks great. Uh, really really great compressed. And the two other decks which I want to do trades with um, have just clear coated. You can see they just got one layer now. They'll have more. Uh, they'll have one or two layers more. I'm going to give this layer one more than a slight sanding and then um, the last clear coat on top. Um, but yeah, it looks kind of starting to get. But you can see the colors get a lot more vibrant and nice, uh, which is great. So yeah. But they will be up for trade. I'm going to drill holes in them. This is only a four ply. But yeah. This is a fire plier. Much thicker deck this year, definitely a thick deck. So yeah, you can see how the kicks are. Nice uh, yellow middle ply here, and here we got a nice green middle ply. I will now, in the future, when I get, I got some more decks um, which I made for that big batch when I went to um, Fast Fingers, uh, which was a great event. You guys should go if you ever have the chance for it. Um, but I'm gonna make up in the future, I'm gonna make like four or five decks at a time. I put them on my website and then people can buy them if they want and then when they're sold out they're sold out and then whenever I feel up to make some more I'll make some more so yeah we're exporting the giveaway video yeah it's gonna be interesting to see if it's you who won well you probably already know that before oh sorry she's just right behind me I don't want to reel over there it's gonna be exciting to see if it's on which one of you guys out there winning, but you probably already know now. As I was about to say because um, the giveaway will be up before the vlog. <laughs> um, it is like nine fifty now, and um, I'm going to take Sally for a little walk. Ah, it's gonna go up the road here where we live. Um, it's like a fair good walk. Um, so that I'm gonna be doing that. And other than that, nothing really planned for today. I didn't feel much of the vlog, but it, and then again, I will mention though, because um, Nikki, the guy who's gonna buy um, one of the ter one of the pills I make, Sally, careful, Ooh, baby. Nikki, one of the guys who's gonna buy um, uh, one of those pills I make, um, because I want to do it for him, because he's a nice guy. And um, he had a friend today, which he brought out, and he's, his friend wanted to meet me, and so Nikolai, it was really cool meeting you, and I hope you watch this. If you do, drop a comment down below, it was really nice meeting you, and um, yeah, great scooter guy as well. It was a lot of fun to do this long jump. I should have filmed a bit more in the skate park today. We did like how far we can jump down, go down the new um, roll in, long flat ground, um, and then jump up from a little slope we have and see how far we could jump. And Nikki, he won. He won with two meters and 57 centimeters. And then I came third. I can't remember the other guy he landed, but I came on two meters and 37. And that was the longest I landed before I couldn't go any further. I actually had a bail scratch my knee a little bit, but that's okay. Um, that's what happens when you have fun. I mean, also a lot of people say, well, can't you even do that? And I usually say, well, yeah, if I was like between 12 and and 18, I could probably do it. But let me see how many of you guys are capable of doing what I do when you hit 34. I mean, I don't know. I'm not 34 yet. I'm 33. But I, I, I don't know anyone else in my age. Um, not people in real life. I don't know anyone in real life in my age area 
which does trampolines, which has um, which can do tail whips on skateboard. I know I know guys who can skateboard and skateboard well, but do tail whips on the scooter uh, and and ride skateboards. I don't know many of those. Then um, yeah, it's just it's funny how um, I feel. I'm, I'm, I can feel my body's getting older, but it's funny how I want to remain much younger um, than I actually am. Uh, and it's not, I'm not panicking become, to become um, a teenager or something like that. I just really want to play as much as I can. Normally what am I saying is, and maybe that one day will be a tattoo, um, remain a child, keep playing. And that's what I think is very, very important. Congratulations to the guy who won the fingerboards and the Black River box. I hope that you're happy with the prize and I will see you soon tomorrow. Good night!